Good morning. So today is the day. This is my last bump selfie before she comes out. So that's what the belly's looking like. That's what we're working with. Thought I would show you guys how big I got over the course of the last 38 weeks. 38 weeks exactly today. So pretty crazy. Are you are we ready? I don't know if I'm ready. I'm having a lot of emotions. Let's do this. Okay, so what are you doing over here? Uh, doing shots of tequila, babe? You can't drink? Yeah, not yet. No, but... I'm actually taking stool softeners and better fiber because we're not doing castor oil. That's freaking bananas. But I definitely want to be like, you know, fresh and ready to go, cleaned out. <laughs> okay. Get a coffee, um, Starbucks. Okay. Last right. meal. Okay. Hold on. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you've seen me have my bad sciatica. I went to acupuncture yesterday. She put a bunch of needles in my left hip for like, I sat there for like an hour. My hips are so like loose and there's no pain. I walk up and down the stairs. I could, I could jump and- We recorded workout videos last night at 11 o'clock at night because Lauren is now back, functioning. I came back from acupuncture and I could literally like do anything. I'm like, Dave, we can record workout videos. Like I can move. I don't know guys, that's that's a miracle right there. Okay. Oh by the way, so she got her hair did, she got her nails did, she no got nails. she got everything did. Lashes probably need a little fill, but you know. I I don't think I'm gonna be in house arrest. We're gonna mama's still gonna, you know, get her things done when she needs it. Just yeah. might be a few weeks. Alright, let's just go make a new people. Let's get a new people. Let's go. Okay. okay, Paige gave me a list of all the things I need, so I packed everything she said. Did you get the, the baby formula just in case? It's coming in the mail. It'll be here when we come home. Okay. And she also said make sure that the man is comfortable and he has snacks. So I got you pillows and blankets, body pillow for me, okay. nursery pillow for her, okay. and there's baby stuff. Like, what the heck? Oh, so this is the, this is the baby bag? No, no. That's the pillow bag. That's just a pillow bag? Hospitals have crappy pillows, which they really do. They have flat, but shitty pillows. Okay, I'll help you arrange this stuff. I need my suitcase. Stuff. Okay, you and you stick. have a suitcase on top of that. Yeah. Wait, which one is the hospital bag? Like, with all this the goods? This is the baby stuff. Okay. That's my pillows, and then I have my suitcase. And then okay. there's my wallet. Okay. Oh, wait, our phone's right here. Oh, oh, oh God. Okay, take your, do you have cell phone chargers? Yes, okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're getting the car seat in. We tested this thing with Paige's baby, so... <laughs> oh, baby. What? Your seat is too far back. Okay, all right, all right. yeah. I, we realized that our car actually is a lot smaller now that we have baby stuff, it's so... It's not nearly as big as we thought it was. We will get this working, don't worry. Should have more room now. More. Just, it's actually easy to just click and lock. It should just lock right in. You still gotta go forward now. <laughs> There we go. It's in. Okay. We are good. Let me see. Baby. See, guys? There's like no space now that there's a baby thing. But it is locked and ready to go. Okay, guys. So we set our alarms for 8 a.m. We didn't leave the house till 9.02. And we are supposed to report to the hospital at 10 a.m. And um, we still have to get snacks. And what else? We still need Food, to get breakfast. breakfast and snacks. So we're kind of running tight because the hospital's at least 20 minutes away, at least. Um, but thankfully, everything's pretty close around here. But yeah. Dave, how are you feeling? Any famous last words? There's just a lot going through my mind. He's really anxious. He's <laughs> He's been like running around looking stressed and it's stressing me out. So I'm like, babe, I'm the one pushing a child out my vajay and I have to go through the pain, and I have to go through the emotions, and I have to go through all the We get it, we get meds. it, we get it, we get it, we get it. So why are you anxious and why are you stressed? Your, your vajay will stay intact, you're fine. Okay. I've watched for 33 birth vlogs, you've watched zero birth vlogs. Dave hasn't watched childbirth class or a vlog, that's okay. He's ready, he knows what's gonna happen. Getting snacks, do you have a cart? I don't care. <laughs> Let's go make this quick. I don't I don't really know what to get. Yes, perfect go to first. Like this 
something I can eat on my coexistence diet. But honestly, babe, they're gonna take away my food really quickly, so we need to get food for you. Okay. Because they're not gonna feed you. Okay. And this is so random, guys. We got these two for the nurses. Or and this one three. too. For the nurses, they're taking care of you. Yeah, sure. I'm familiar with mixed emotions because if they're not doing their New Year's resolution yet, they'll enjoy these. But if they're already on their New Year's resolution, I feel bad because I'm tempting them. Either way, 21 Here we go. Cheddar sandwich. Um, could I get a orange juice? Sausage cheddar and orange juice. Okay, girl, please. All right. Yep. Uh, what do you want? Um, can I get a um a medium matcha latte with almond milk and stevia? And Wait, was that what happened? Hi, uh, she can't hear you, babe. Oh, can I get a medium matcha latte um, with stevia and almond milk and a hot? Okay, um, I heard a green tea latte. I heard almond milk. Stevia and almond milk. Stevia and almond milk. What size? Me like medium. Medium. And this is hot. hot. Yes, hot. Stevia yes. And almond milk. One stevia? Uh, two. And okay, then, what else we got? And then I can I get two egg white bites? Two orders of egg white bites. Two orders? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's it. So two order of egg white bites, a green tea latte with almond milk, two stevia. And orange juice, a sausage and cheddar and a grilled cheese. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Everything? Yes. Alright. All right. Thank you. So we may have stressed each other out a little bit. Why did you do that, babe? I I was feeling normal and then you like stressed me out. You're mad at the Starbucks lady. No, I'm not mad at her. Like it was it was fine. I don't want to talk about that. I just want to talk about the fact that like our energy needs to be good right We're now. We're anxious as fuck. We've never done this. We're both like uh hyper like She's very anxious and it's making me anxious. I wasn't I was woke up kinda happy and now like my stomach hurts. I'm nervous. I'm it's my fault. You're making it sound like it's all my fault. No, I just I feel I felt your energy and now I feel anxious and nervous. Okay, and I love you. You better come in closer than that. And you better I... Oh my god, what a pain in the ass. <sighs> Guys, pretty sure inductions actually at 1030, not 10. Check your voicemail. The doctor left you yesterday to confirm it. Remember? It says nine o'clock. No, not the no in the voicemail. Okay, so we got our coffee. Well, I got my latte, and Dave got his orange juice and his breakfast sandwiches, and we are reporting for our induction. And um, I'm 38 weeks pregnant, if I didn't tell you guys that already. I'm being induced um, early because of the cholestasis condition. I've done two videos on that already, so check those out if you have any questions. Um, so it's technically a high-risk pregnancy. But yeah, they've already measured Aria at six pounds, nine ounces at like two week ago um, sonogram. And, um, and so she's, I think she's gonna be a healthy, nice size, but. Nice size. Nice size. Um, I don't want her to be too big, but I also don't want her to be too small because obviously we're inducing. But on our way right now, gonna check in, see the nurses, get situated. We brought a ridiculous amount of luggage. Um, we got little cookies for the nurses at the hospital. And what are you thinking? What are you feeling? I just want to get there. <laughs> yeah, but we're actually, it's 942. We're supposed to be there from 10. We're literally pulling up right now. That's the hospital right there. It's a nice new hospital in Vegas. Heard a lot of good things about it. So here we go. It's very windy. It's windy. She's got Inside, her cord blood thing. Cord blood kit. I got my baby stuff, my bags. All right, we got food. Snacks, food. I'm dropping her off inside. So much stuff. Let me grab this. All right, go. All right, go. Okay, away from me here. I'll go park the car. Who has a baby with this much luggage? There's actually more in the car. <laughs> wow. The elevator scene. The elevator scene. The transition. The transition. Uh, floor like, two? Like my hands are shaking. I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling so nervous. Because we're making a brand new Ooh. people. Sounds 
that. Go make. Yeah, remember to the window. To the window. To the wall. Alright, birthing place. Okay, so we've checked in to make a new people. Yeah, she told me you were upset. You're making me more nervous. Why are you nervous? Because you're, you're just, making me nervous. You're just making new people today, to tomorrow. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> exciting is happening yet. Everybody's clapping. They're all excited for you. Is that it? Yeah. Did I fill it out? That's it. Don't miss that Did one. I pass? <laughs> <laughs> tell, me how, tell me how tall you are. Holy crap. This is what, 5'5"? Five, 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 this is getting real. I think it's a 5'5". Five, five it's your yeah, you're right. I'm how much you are cheating? I'm like, I'm not over-exaggerating. You can um, put that stuff down. Yeah, but we can, we could probably... Okay. Yeah. No. Well, penicillin, possibly, but it's like a rash. Okay, we're putting it down. Okay. Yeah, put it down. She had one allergic reaction one time. She yeah, got hot and up. hot and red. Yeah. We're good. One time yeah. it down. Okay, one, one more thing. So, is that my bed right there? Am I on? Yes. Oh. Ooh. That looks comfy. It's just a consent for treatment. I'm going to leave you alone okay. to Miss Terry. Okay. okay. Same okay. thing you sign okay. when you pre register. They just make you sign it every time you come on in. What treatment? Got everything out. Yep. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna have to lift the gown up for oh. a second. It's okay, guys. So a little update. Um, they checked me. I'm over a centimeter dilated. I'm 80% face. So my cervix is already like softening. I'm already having contractions before they even put me on any. Medication. And we how was the baby? Huh? How low is the baby? The baby's already at a station zero. She is locked, loaded, ready to go. She's super low. And like, they haven't given me any medications yet. So my nurse is really nice. She's going to talk with the laborist. They might give me Pitocin and skip all the other things like Cervidil and everything because she, my cervix, like I said, is soft. She's ready. Um, I'm having contractions without even being on anything yet. So it's pretty exciting. She said I'm a very good chance of vaginal delivery. And... Um, yeah, we'll see how long this takes. <laughs> um, kind of nervous. They have me hooked up to everything, so I can't really walk. Okay, hold on. Okay. Um, let me. Sh I'm showing you. All right, guys. So I'm hooked up. Ari is having good heart rate variability. I'm already having contractions. They're pretty painful. Um, they haven't given me anything yet. She's gonna check with the laborers to find out if we're getting pitocin soon and soon thereafter, maybe even an epidural. Um, but it's crazy that I'm already having contractions. So I'm a little bit of pain, so I'm gonna sit on this ball and bounce up and down as long as we can still read her heart rate on the monitor, not scare the nurses too much. Um, how are you feeling, Gabe? <laughs> Um, we've been here for one hour and a lot of stuff has happened already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get like Maris a... Maris thinks like she's in good position, she's really excited for yeah. that. I'm just trying to get a sense of like the actual timeline of like when things are happening. Like when she's like, oh, you won't have this baby before 7 p.m. I'm like, that's eight hours from now. How is it that you're having that many contractions already? I don't know. So she went to check me and ever since she checked me for dilation and effacement, I've been having contractions. So I don't know if she's stimulated a little bit by being in there because I haven't had these contractions. But anyways guys, so once we got to the room, this is it. Like, baby's gonna go end up in there. This is the room we're having a baby in. That's it. Okay guys, so the doctor just came in, introduced himself, um, they are going to put me on Pitocin and he let, allowed me to have my last meal, so I'm eating some egg white bites, some protein bar, banana, stuff that I know that I can have for my condition, and um, Aria is having good variability. Oh, you got to lean back. She's so low, so Aria is so yeah, low that the minute... Yeah, so low that as, the, as soon as I set up or change position, it's not picking up the reading. What's happening? Small contractions? This is the part of labor they never show you. At least I've never seen enough vlogs. Lauren's on a booster ball. I've never seen this position on a vlog ever. 
but this is Lauren. We just started Pitocin. She is on two uh, out of like, I think it goes up to 20. Every 30 minutes it goes up by two. But Lauren's over. Well, I bought this on fall because it helps my back pain and my contraction pain much better than the bed. But I can't sit up because it's stops the heart from beating monitor. monitor. So that's why I'm playing in this position on the wall. <laughs> this is not, I did not Nobody know. Recommended this. <laughs> this is just Lauren. This is not, there's nothing like scientific about this. <laughs> this is just comfort? This is just Lauren. This is just, this is Lauren being a pain in the ass. Literally, the nurse has yelled at her Actually, a couple times. She's fine. She's in there. She's low. She's I'm probably going to get yelled at for being the, this is the worst angle ever of me. <laughs> this is the worst angle ever. It is. It's been a complete sterile technique. Never seen an infection, but not impossible. Okay, guys, that was yes. scary. Um, the nurse says I have the nurse curse, which is basically when you're, you're a nurse, all the bad stuff starts happening. So um, I got the epidural pretty quickly, I would say. Within two hours of us being here. Yes, and as soon as I got that, my blood pressure went down and the baby's heart decelerated to 60, so she called all the Twice. in here. It's really scary. I started crying. Um, well, hold on a second. So shit happens really quickly. Um, all of a sudden our nurse, like she's been freaking amazing in here. Like she's hooked us up and like, everything's going a lot quicker than we expected. And next thing you know, like we got like five nurses in here. They're putting they oxygen masks. They put on an internal heart monitor, right? They tried to put on the, the monitor on the baby's head. They broke Lauren's water, like right there. Um, the monitor didn't stick to the head because they think maybe she has hair. Um, so now, like, they got the external monitor to work. She's back up to the 130s. Um, my epidural's definitely working. Epidural's working, but uh, that was fucking scary. So hopefully, no more excitement. Yeah, let's don't just do anything chill. Don't Aria do anything just anything. needs to chill. Breathe. Wait, Amber got. Well, socks, you know, because your PTs will get cold. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I love the granny panties. They're not that granny. She has like kind of cute fur granny you, you might need them, um, you know, I probably will immediately ask. after. I realize I own nothing but bones. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so I figure, you know, <laughs> even as a joke, you use them once or twice in life. She does have adult diapers to wear home. Yeah, but after the adult diapers, you have to wear like a little pad. You'll have to have some kind of pad because you can't stick anything under. there. Oh, you okay? Oh yeah, you're having a contraction. They're actually like, look how consistent well, you're, you're they are. Feel, and I'm gonna show them. You'll feel some. Yeah. Like so this is how shit. consistent like, Lauren's contractions are. This is but it's only gonna get the mountains gonna get that are the contractions. Yeah, because things can start coming in a little faster. So you have to know how close they are. I guess I thought I was gonna feel nothing, but I definitely know. No, it's it's good that you feel something because then you know when to push. I can move my legs. And don't don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I'm gonna yell at you. I know. I can get her going. Look, well, guys, Lauren is being a giant pain in the ass right now. She keeps taking her mask. Babe, put your mask back on. Yes. So, wait, Amber, what is she doing right now? She's squeezing her nipples. And why is she squeezing? It's supposed We're to trying to make keep this as real as real. Yeah, it's supposed to help with the uterus and contract the uterus. So, so she's Lauren. She's squeezing her nipples right now. <laughs> Lauren is squeezing her nipples. Do you feel oh no, here? hold on. Is it working? Shit, um, hold on. Oh, I'm, not my nipples. I'm not. I'm trying to show the monitor. <laughs> you just farted. Dude, I can't feel anything now. <laughs> Babe, you just ripped ass. Come on. <laughs> Babe, guys. It wasn't that bad. It was a little pooped. It was a little uh -huh. pooped. Get out of here with that. Babe. You want to do the vlog, now you're vlogging. Oh, now. I'm going to vlog this now. Farting up a storm. <laughs> no, no, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> oh my god, Dave. Seriously, stop. Stop. Okay, what's happening right now? What's happening? I have a lot of things connected to me. Can you give me an update? No, there's no update. Please give us an update. What's there's happening? a lot of messy, disgusting, gross things happening. How about that? Lauren has to go number two, but her legs don't work. So she's panicking. A bedpan? Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong? I've watched 33 bird vlogs and none of them talked about shitting their fucking pants or pooping in a bedpan. Well, you're about to pop. I've already cleansed myself in preparation and this is not supposed to happen. Oh. I have a feeling our relationship is going to a new level. 
This is not cute. Nothing about this is cute for She's gonna poop her pants. But she has no pants. No, I'm gonna poop a pan. <laughs> Laying down. I don't even know if that's physically possible. Oh, it is. I've done it. In a hospital. It's weird. There for 14 hours. So our photographer just showed up, and guys, <laughs> things are progressing very, very so, quickly. When I had the deceleration, I was at three centimeters, like not even an hour ago. I'm at nine and a half centimeters. She had the ready, the bloody show. Everything is good and ready. Like the doctors getting, I, they're getting set up outside. They're the table outside. I don't understand how things have progressed this fast. Like, and it's only three o'clock right now, and what the heck? Babe, things are moving I'm, along. I'm very scared. It's like I'm getting well, really nervous. you're nervous and scared. She's she's scared, but she's nervous. My legs are shaking in the epidural. I can still move my legs, which I didn't think I was able to do, but it's just very getting. Real. You're nervous because I'm nervous. we we, we she's were planning faster than I was ready. A lot faster. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's the question? Okay, so we're gonna guess her height and her weight. Oxygen. Okay. Guess. So what do you guys think, cousin? Uh, I'm gonna say she's good at least, well, I don't know, down to the, like, little ounces. Well, you gotta be... Seven pounds for sure, and I'm gonna say 21. 21 out? Oh, oh, no, how many out? So seven pounds. Seven pounds flat. Seven pounds even. Okay. Let's do seven pounds. Uh, Aunt Stacy? Seven eleven. Let's go. Seven eleven? You think she's gonna be a big baby? What's up? I'm gonna say seven five. Who's going to do this party? <laughs> All right, what do you think she's gonna be? I'm hoping for, like, seven two. Nine point. Seven two? <laughs> All right. Guys, I'm saying Arya's gonna be under seven pounds. Yay! That's, you win. I that's win. what I'm hoping. That doesn't mean that it's gonna be so. <laughs> right. You didn't say height though. Okay. I have no I'm idea how. Say height. twenty inches. I have no idea how to guess how long she's gonna it's be. It's between like eighteen and twenty-one. Twenty-one would be taller, I think. Guys. Twenty-one for sure. Both my boys were twenty-one. What about? Really? Mm, eighteen. I'm I'm thinking uh, eighteen and a half. No way. Yeah, nice. and we have the photographer over here. What do you guess? <laughs> you know, you get a guess too now. All you right, get a guess. All right, all right. Um, I would say about seven five. Seven five. All right. Seven five. Um, maybe twenty inches. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're she's going for a big baby. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not that big though. Like it's. it's so it's definitely happening soon. <laughs> Lauren just did her first three by tests. Way, guys, I did not have to go to the bathroom. That's the baby. So I'm not. It You're not pooping. Bit, I didn't have a bedpan situation. <laughs> so it's Aria's ready to come out. Lauren just did three test pushes. She's. I'm at plus one station and I'm almost fully phased. Um, yeah, almost 10 centimeters and, and cervix is almost gone. I don't know what any of that means, but you girls hopefully do. The doctor said, like, yeah, we're going to have a baby soon. I'm like, okay. But we're a little bit nervous because she keeps decelerating. Her so, oh, so the uh, the nurse says that most likely there's um, there's a nuchal cord, so the cord could be around her neck. But she said 39% of babies are born with a cord around their neck, so it's not it's not uncommon, really? but it does happen. She has four kids, so we have to see how she tolerates like me pushing. But there might be cord around the neck area. A little bit, but she's she's not decelerating very much, so it's very good. But also, you have to consider the fact that she's been breathing fluid, not air, so it's not choking her. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> it's, it's different. It's not like if you were ch you didn't have oxygen. So guys, right now the problem is, um, see these dips right here? They're dropping. Don't look, don't look, babe. It's fine. Um, uh oh, it's happening right now. So every time Lauren has a contraction, don't look, babe. Just relax. Remember, you have to relax. I'm just talking every, about you. Yeah, but every time Lauren's having a contraction, Arya's uh, heart rate is dropping into the 60s, so we think the cord is around her neck. So as soon as the contraction goes away, like now, see, the heart rate jumps right back up. That's the heart rate, and that's the intensity of the contraction down there in the purple. Okay, guys, so it is right now 5 o'clock, and the nurses had a, doctors had a powwow, and Lauren's going to try to have a baby now. They got the legit stirrups out for me. Oh. That's, that means it's go time. Oh. Damn, I didn't even realize that. Okay, let's, let's get, luck. let's get Arya out. <laughs> Ready? Ready? I'm scared. You got this, babe. I'm nervous. You got this.
little Aria. Little Aria. Seven ten, I think. Hi, little baby. Also, all that Hi. 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 You might do a little string on the bottom. You might not. Just listen. Feel the daughter. Do this. Mm -hmm. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Hold on, let me see her real quick. <laughs> oh my god, little baby. Okay. Hi. It's really pretty difficult to get Hi. this bra up. This oh, we're gonna try to breastfeed already, guys. So, wait, what time was she born? 1806, 6.06 6 p.m. 6.06 6 p.m.? So that was literally 40, 30 minutes ago. Aww, and one this shift, one nursing shift. One nursing shift. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Not a labor loser Look today. at her, guys. Hi, oh, she's, she's hungry. She's hungry, babe. That's your little push gift. I get a push gift. You got a push gift. Oh, baby. Little baby. Okay, we have a little burrito. Guys, don't judge my first burrito wrap. Babe did the first swaddling. Good job, babe. We calmed her down. She already uh, breastfed on each boob twice. So, so about 10, 10, 15, 20. She's, she's been on the boob for about 40 yeah, minutes. She did a really good job. And by the way, we are keeping, we did not give her a bath because. You have delayed bathing, so it helps the baby's like scent. And, and skin, and uh, it's it's like a natural. Um, it's a natural barrier to like. Yeah. Things. So they said to keep it on for a little bit longer to help her out. But look at this tiny little cute she's bumble. so cute. Oh look gosh. at this little thing. What's your first impression? She's a little cute. Oh my gosh. She's I, so can't, cute. I can't describe it. <laughs> she's so cute. She's so cute. She's our little people. I know. Little she's burrito. so sweet. I don't know. I just, it liquid so fast. And like, when I was two pushes away, I didn't realize it was two pushes away, but the doctor's nurse was like, oh no, you're right there. You're right there. I just felt like. Well. I don't know why I felt like it could have been like an hour or two later, and it happened two pushes later. Aria literally came out so fast. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Oh my gosh. And you, had, like, you, had a, you had a small tear on top. It was only like f maybe four pushes away that I started panicking. But, but you labored actually for over an hour. Without really panicking. Without panicking. Most of the yeah, day, you right? were pushing for about an hour. I was actually. And then once she crowned, the doctor came in and literally. By the time the doctor set up, the next push, Aria was out. And it was weird because I was like kind of freaked out that I was so calm for like the whole time. <laughs> you were not calm towards the end. <laughs> towards the end, about four or five pushes You wanted to out, run away. I was like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I was trying to climb away from the bane. But here She's we so are. so cute, oh my gosh. Little one. Aww. 